Hey guys, okay, so I'm checking in with another video. This video is kind of a thrift shop haul and a how to thrift shop kind of video, just kind of like merged together because I've been asked by a couple of other people, you know, what do you do when you go thrift shopping? What tips could you give me to make it, you know, so that I can find good deals like you do, that kind of thing. So I figured I'd kind of do this haul video and kind of pepper in a little bit of advice that I could give you or tips that I could add to the mix because truly there are other videos out there uh, you know how to thrift shop or whatever so you can look those up on YouTube if you're really interested so I'm gonna jump right into the actual haul part of the video so I'm gonna start this first thing I did was I did go by the jewelry counter and I found a couple of bracelets you can see them right here. They're like gold. Oops, sorry about the lighting. And they have like links on them. Um, I think probably they were both donated by the same person because they're so similar. So I imagine the same person donated both of these guys. So yeah, I picked those up. A uh, little tip about jewelry. Watch out for tarnishing. Watch out for broken stuff, obviously, um, with these guys. I actually tried them on at the jewelry counter because you know I wanted to make sure it would fit my wrist and also you want to make sure that the closure the little lobster claw closures you know actually work because that could be a good reason why they've been donated is that they're broken so yeah even if you do come across something that's really interesting and it's broke you could revamp it if you get a little creative so yeah, those are the two bracelets that I found. Okay, so now I'm going to jump into the clothing. One of the first things I want to share with you is um, this blazer. I went ahead and came across came across another blazer to add to my collection. This could probably mess up the lighting on this video. But, um... <clears throat> so now I'm going to jump into the actual clothing part of the haul. First item I wanted to share with you is this blue blazer. It's that dark cobalt blue um, that's what caught my eye so when you go in and I do this when I go into like forever 21 too you know what you like you know what your favorite colors are keep your eyes peeled for those things you know uh, whatever colors in season right now you know like red or jewel tones I mean jewel tones are always in season every winter that's nothing new so you know when you go in there and you're like Ooh, what is that? What's that blue thing? Go over there and check it out, you know? Let that be kind of like your guide in a way. So this blazer, <clears throat> dark cobalt blue, uh, I definitely like it better with the sleeves rolled up. My arms are kind of long, so the sleeve is actually a little bit too short, so rolling it up gets me past that. So that's another thing when you go in, try to think outside of the box when you put something on what can I do to this to make it look better that kind of thing if you really love it the only other thing about this blazer that I don't like is that she has um, shoulder pads in here and they're pretty big ones and I'm thinking I may take them out I'm not quite sure yet but what I remember when I tried them on I was like wow those are some big shoulder pads but uh so I may actually end up ripping the seam inside and actually pulling those shoulder pads out so that might be a project in the future that I'll be doing the other things I wanted to mention was patterns you know what's in style like maybe there'll be a trend going where there's just stripes everywhere or maybe there's going to be a trend going on where it's just polka dots polka dots everywhere so the thrift shop right now polka dots are hot uh, the thrift shop is a good place to find polka dot blouse there's tons of them in there. Let's face it, those little old grandmas loved their polka dots back in the day. And those are the things that you're going to find a lot of in the thrift shop right now. So I did come across a couple of items. Um, this is a polka dot navy blue shirt. It's got a really interesting uh, neckline. You know, it's kind of like a square neckline. And I actually have to use a, one of these clothespins on it because... The material is so silky, it just slips right off. So yeah, I need to get another one on this other side too. But yeah, and she kind of has these sleeves that kind of flare out a little bit too, which is nice. And it is actually kind of long. 
So what I did when I got this home and I wore it to work is I paired it with a black pencil skirt and I tucked it inside and actually pulled it out a little bit so that it kind of like ballooned at the top or whatever and um, with the black pencil skirt and then like some black pumps it was a really nice outfit I got a lot of compliments and I'm sitting there going wow this isn't too bad so yeah and um, I don't know polka dots are just one of those things that I I like I've always liked you know but sometimes you can kind of OD on them and overdose on them so having like one piece in your outfit with polka dots on it is a good thing don't get too much going on there so that is that one then there's this one now I really think that somebody gave up their silk shirt collection I really do because these are actually the same brand this all hours which I've never really heard of but it's an older brand or whatever and um, this the color caught my eye I knew that jade green was kind of in right now or forest green was very in right now the colors what caught my eye and then when I got closer I saw that it was actual polka dots and I was like ooh that's a double score and a couple of things that I really really love about this top is the sleeves it's got one of those little button tabs so that you can roll it up and then kind of like button it and I really like that and actually when it's on it's very like drapey and it just moves it's very silky it's very comfortable um, the other thing I like about it that makes it a little bit more unique is it does have a nice cut down here see how that is cut right there so it's a little different you know and I like to actually wear that out like I think I wore these what did I wear this with a pair of black pants and a white tank top underneath and I let the shirt stay untucked so that I could actually show off that little cut you know the, the bottom the way that it was like that because I like that and it was a really nice outfit too um, the way that this shirt is is uh, it's one of those items that no matter what you do when you look at it it's automatically dressy so I like to take something that's very very dressy and try to put it with something that's kind of casual you know this shirt with a pair of jeans and some boots or something like that so the other shirt that I came across again polka dots I guess that's what I was on the hunt for was this one and this one actually again it's the same brand that all ours so I'm pretty sure <laughs> the same person owned both of these shirts and uh, this one has the polka dot pattern a lot smaller and it's actually a very um, kind of like a burgundy wine the polka dots are on the um, like it's not a white top it's kind of a beige or an off-white eggshell color yeah so th yeah this one this one is definitely my favorite out of all the blouses that I've shown you this one is the one that just it gets me it, it's just it's kind of oversized so it's very flowy and it's that silky material so it's very cool which is a good thing because it's freaking hot here still uh, today we're at like 85 degrees and um, yeah so I love this top this is my favorite one and when I wore this what did I do I wore it with a pair of jean shorts and I kind of like tucked in the front of the shirt and let the back flow out and uh, threw on a pair of shoes or whatever but it was just a really cool outfit it kind of had that um, kind of just relaxed look to it like I wasn't trying too hard or whatever a couple of things that I want to throw in for the whole tips for thrift shopping number one tip I could say is go when you have time Go when you have at least two hours or longer to go and thrift shop because it takes time when you go in there. You have to be patient and go through the racks and look and you kind of need to, you know, what do I need right now? What do I want right now? That kind of thing. Keep those things in your mind when you go in there and um, definitely eat a light breakfast or a light lunch before you go in so you have energy but you won't be like totally bloated because that just like skews reality. <laughs>
I generally go in and literally pick up one of those little baskets and I will put it on the floor and as I'm going through the racks and I find something that I like, I'll throw it in the basket. I don't like using the big old like shopping carts because those are just awkward and you know you're like trying to go down the aisle and people are squeezing by that kind of thing unless for some reason this particular thrift shop has a lot of items then I'll go to the bigger shopping cart. Uh, I do that. Um, the other thing I would mention is to use um, like a crossbody bag like just a little small one you know nothing fancy that way you can put it across your body and your hands are free so that you can go through the racks and look through stuff. Number the other thing I would add to is always try it on you know wear something that's not fussy that day don't wear necklaces earrings all that crap just wear like leggings and a t-shirt and some flip-flops go in in that that way you can change and try everything on definitely try everything on definitely wash everything when you get it home I recommend a lot of times to just hang your stuff to dry don't put it in the dryer a lot of times the dryer just it ricks you know it just wrecks your clothing it's either gonna shrink it or they fade the color etc hang dry definitely is very key for a lot of these items you know um, it's not gonna hurt it it's gonna save energy and you're being green in the same on the same side go in with an open mind sometimes you'll get to go in and you're gonna find a ton of things other times you're gonna go in and you're gonna find nothing also when you're in there and you're trying on things look at it try to think outside of the box because what happens if you add a belt what happens if you cut the sleeves what happens if you make that dress a skirt what happens if you you know these pants are too short well what happens if I cut them off and make them walking shorts or shorts or capris you know the options are endless so when you go in there you know try to look at it and go what can if it fits what can I do with this to make it more me or make it more current etc so those are my tips for thrift shopping if I have forgotten anything I will probably add it on the blog so you can head there I generally update the blog after I post the video you know if there's anything that I've forgotten or whatever I'll add it in there so if you want to go to the blog links below also if you want to see the outfit of the day that I'm wearing I'm gonna post a picture on the blog as well too so I will see you guys next time